So before we started we had around 100 FPS and right now as you can see I have over 500 FPS which is really cute. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I will show you the best Optifine settings for Minecraft 1.20. So let's get right into this. The first thing I want to show you is actually how to download and install the Optifine 1.20. Uh, if you already have it you can skip this part but let me show you how to do this so go to the video description and there's the link click on that and it will take you to my website where you can download Optify 1.20 then just take the file and drop it on the desktop just like I did from here it's it's really simple to do this so as you can see we have the file on the desktop let's go to the Windows search bar type in percent and data percent and hit enter the roaming folder will appear and here go to that minecraft folder and scroll down until you get to the versions now double click on optify 1.20 and hit install it may take a couple of seconds and as you can see optify is successfully installed and right now in the folder make sure you see 1.20 optify if you don't see that you have to actually repeat the step because it has to be in here to work so we can close this and delete this right now let's get to the uh, minecraft launcher so open up minecraft launcher and what we actually do is to allocate the ram so we will get more fps so let's continue here make sure you choose 1.20 optifine here and go to installations here where you can see the optifine go click on three dots hit edit and more options in here in the jvm arguments you can see i already have a g but you will have 2g in here so this totally depends on your pc and how much ram you have so i have 16 gigabytes of ram that means i will use 8g if you have 8 gigabytes of ram use 4g and if you have 4 gigabytes of ram use 2g uh, just make sure you have use 50 percent cap capacity of your ram then hit save, play and optify 1.20 and hit play. Yes, we understand the risk. So right now I'm in the Minecraft 1.20 as you can see in here. And let's get to our single player world. And from there I will show you what to do next to get the most FPS as possible. Okay. So we are slowly coming to the world and then we need to get to the options and from there i will show you what to do so let me turn off the shaders because we don't need it right now so i'll turn off the shaders and i'll also show you how much fps i have right now so hit done and uh, yes so right now i have around 120 110 fps okay so go to the options please video settings and uh, let's adjust these settings graphic graphics let's turn that to fast turn off the smooth lighting and also the render and simulation distance so uh, for me it works the best if i have if i have the 8 on render distance and 6 on simulation distance but you can adjust these settings to your needs just play with it and you'll see what's the best for you go to quality and turn off the mipmap levels we don't need it uh, filtering off emissive textures off and better grass uh, fast yeah we can also turn it off but fast is the best for us i believe custom fonts leave it on on connected features uh, textures sorry uh, get it to fast please and custom sky on that's for the shaders it's good if you have some low-end shaders you should use it if you don't have you can turn it off map type the nearest and uh, we can also turn off the custom items that's all for the quality settings so hit done performance and uh, we only have to turn on the fast renderer smooth fps and that's it also chunk builder to threatened uh, hit done 
order and to turn off these two settings. Also, you can turn on the full screen, but I won't do that right now, but uh, it may help you to get more FPS. Hit it on and let's get to the animations. Uh, the particles, let's get it to decreased or minimal. I will use decreased, but you can also uh, use minimal if you want. Also, you can turn off the rain splash. Potion par uh, particles, let's leave it on. And textures animated off. Hit done. And go to details. Clouds, let's get it to fast. Trees to fast. Also, sky off, sun and moon off, fog, this depends to you, but uh, I'll leave it to off, because uh, it takes some FPS as well, so if you really want the most FPS, you should leave it on off. You bobbing, let me show you what this is, if we leave it on, you can see the animation of your hand, but if we turn it off, it looks like this and it, it's ugly, it's just weird, so let me use it. So on, vignette uh, also fast, rain and snow default, stars off, show capes off and biome blend to fastest. That should be everything, we don't have the shaders right now, so hit done, done and as you can see, the world doesn't look very good, but it uh, doesn't look that bad. So, how much FPS I have now? I have around... Yes, yeah, so there are some jumps. 200 FPS, 230 FPS, which is kinda good. So, thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.